Still to come, time keeps on ticking for a Chicago Just clockmaker, celebrating its 100th year anniversary this year. We're going to check it out a little later on. Plus, the Chicago Clock Company is still ticking after 100 years. We're going to go behind the scenes next when You and Me continues. It is 740, everyone, and tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Got that? Yeah. Time never runs out for the Chicago Clock Company. It is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. It's been owned and operated, get this, by the same yeah. family since 1917. Let's take a look. Chicago Clock Company, uh, established 1917. We're celebrating our 100 year anniversary. We've been in this location for 45 years. Started with my great grandfather, Cla uh, grandfather. He was a baker by trade, came, in fr came over from Germany. And uh, my dad then got into it and brought in the retail end of it. We expanded out to uh, four locations. Uh, then I got into the business about 20 years ago. My uncle is a uh, service manager for our Palatine location. So uh, he watches, he does the repairs, orders the parts, and makes sure everything's rolling smoothly. We just did an overhaul on it, cleaning, oiling, okay. bushings, a little bit of everything. So we do uh, service. We sell clocks. We both clocks and watches. Uh, we also do uh, in-home grandfather clocks. This one, we're actually putting a new movement in it. Chicago Clock is a very comprehensive uh, clock shop. We have over 200 different manufacturers. So we have everything from watches, alarm clocks, mantle clocks, wall clocks, to grandfather clocks. Well, they're one of the few things in our world or our society today that are still mechanical. Everybody's used to digital and phones, and uh, it's still a mechanical item. And it's interesting to look at. The uh, German movements uh, are very intricate. And you can actually see the mechanics of the clock working. Well, it's changing. It's, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of younger people uh, get involved with the grandfather clocks and other clocks. It's a nice accessory. A lot of these uh, younger generation people grew up with clocks and they're getting to a point where they do have the money to afford them and they're buying them. And there's some unique styles. You know, it's just a nice way to, to have something that you can pass on to your family. That's really cool stuff. A hundred years in the same family. Yeah, and what I love about these clocks is, is how rich they look. Mm -hmm. How much they enhance the room. Yeah. I mean, their purpose is not just to tell time, but I mean, those, what was it, the grandfather clock? Mm -hmm. Beautiful staple in a home. Oh, so. absolutely. And I think that everyone obviously uses their phones now uh, or but, digital clocks. But for but, this show, I need backup. Yeah, so I set absolutely. a couple alarms. <laughs> yes. So I need to get that you need cow like one that was <laughs> mooing. Uh, that will just wake to make me sure up, you in get up in the morning. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. I need backup. All right, well, the Chicago Clock Company has four locations if you wanted to check them out. They're in Palatine, Orlando, or Orla Orland Park, and Clarendon Hills. For more information, go to chicagoclock.com.